Well, thank you, Speaker. And my question is to the Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Yesterday, the minister claimed there would be no purchase price impact, despite the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industry estimate that Labor's new family car and ute tax could cost $38 billion in penalties over five years Order. based on 2023 sales. And these would be paid for by Australians. Why is the minister refusing to be upfront with the Australian people about the impact of this new tax? Give the call to the order. We don't need the sound effects for dramatic. Order. The Minister for Climate Change and Energy has the call. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And the reason I appreciate the question from the honourable gentleman so much is that it enables me to correct several of the myths and misinformation that the opposition is peddling in relation to this policy, including the one that he, including the one that the honourable member just perpetuated. Now, in relation to the SCII's uh, figures, uh, the SCII themselves have said since releasing that figure that it was, and I quote, a very simple analysis, and they went on to say, we're not saying that sales from 2023 will be replicated, we're just Order. saying that if it was replicated, that's what the cost would be. Their own modelling, their own modelling, Order. their own modelling which they've submitted indicates Order. that they're going to increase their these sales, and just, Mr Speaker, Order. The minister, will, the minister will pause. Order. The minister will pause. There is far too much noise. I cannot hear a word that anyone is saying in this chamber. But the deputy leader of the opposition. I don't know how many times when I'm speaking. It is definitely not the time to interject. Trust me. The minister for resources will cease interjecting as well. And I give the call to the minister for climate change and energy. And just in the last half an hour, Mr Speaker, we've seen evidence of that with the announcement by Toyota that they are about to start importing their first ever electric vehicle into Australia, Mr Speaker, which we very much welcome, which indicates, which indicates very much, Mr Speaker, that this extra choice for Australian people is something that can be Order. delivered. Now, it's not just us. It's not just Order. us who believe this, Mr Speaker. The member for Gippsland might want to have a little word in the shell like here of our old friend, the member for Bradfield, Mr Speaker, who, knew, who has dealt with these sort of scare campaigns in the past and, I must say, very eloquently and very commendably and very efficiently knocked all the scare campaigns away. It is, it is very eloquent up here in the Australia, which is still on his website, the the as we speak today, Mr Speaker, still up on his website this afternoon, where he said, where he said, Mr Speaker, the evidence from overseas is that there will be no increase in prices for any car. And he was right, Mr Speaker. My New Year's resolution is to be kinder and fairer to the opposition. I'm going to start with the member for Bradfield by quoting him approvingly Order. on a regular basis, Mr Speaker, because he deserves nothing less. He made the case. Now, in relation to others, again, Mr Speaker, I'd, I'd draw the attention of the member for Gippsland to Hyundai, Volkswagen, BMW, Kia, and Volvo, who have all welcomed the government's new vehicle emissions standard, Mr Speaker, all of them, and Order. motoring reg organisations, the NRMA, the RACQ and the RACWA, for example, who called for us to do exactly what we have done, Mr Speaker. The real question for the opposition is why do they want to stand in the way of better choices and better savings for motorists right across Australia? Why does the member for Gippsland, whose average constituent drives 17,830 kilometres a year. Why does the member for Gippsland not want that constituent to receive $1,417 worth of fuel savings if they buy a new car in 2028? Why is the opposition slow against better choices Order. for Australians, Mr Speaker? The why are they the against, is warned. Why are against even the own, their own policy that they took to the last election, Order. Mr Speaker, the because they don't believe in better choice for motorists? Concluded. Order. The member for Wright, the member for Groom and the leader of the Nationals are warned.